Imagine a person who manages to build a tank from scratch with his own means, simple materials and incredible determination. In this video, we will follow the step-by-step -step process of transforming a pile of metal into a giant hero of the battlefield, with details that even an engineer would envy. Let us get started. There was a lot of preparation for the tank parts in the first stage. These processes will ensure that the tank is durable, now there are metal materials, welding machines and various tools everywhere. A man is focused on the job, at this stage, the other parts of the tank are produced by heating at high temperatures. You can see that it is quite a difficult job, however, they will get the reward of this effort in the end. <laughs> Here are the wonderful parts of the tank, some parts of the tank are now starting to show themselves. Especially, the barrel attracts great attention at these moments. All the parts necessary for a panzer tank are present. One of the most difficult parts of the job, an assembly process is started and everything is done with great care. The worker shows the importance he gives to the details while assembling the metal parts. The welding process of the metal is dazzling, as sparks fly everywhere, we witness how meticulously this process is done. The tan main frame is almost ready but this tank production process is quite complicated. Some parts of the tank need many materials, these materials will make the tank more realistic and professional. The tank S wheels and tracks are also made at this stage. The design of the tracks allows the tank to overcome terrain obstacles. To ensure this flexibility, the track connection points are manufactured with high precision. Thus, smooth movement is ensured both on flat roads and on rough terrain. Amazing! We are witnessing the first test drive of our tank, this tank production is done with high precision equipment such as robotic technologies and CNC machines. Although the body and tracks are ready, there are many details of the tank that need to be fixed.
wooden pallets can be used to test the functionality of the tank S movement mechanisms. Using wooden pallets in a tank prototype can offer some plausible scenarios, particularly for testing mechanical and structural systems. A few important processes are required for the formation of the tank wheel. This disc, which is shaped especially with wood, will be mounted on the tank wheel. All technical details are being reviewed so that the track and wheel turn in harmony. The moment when the tank starts moving after the tracks are attached is one of the turning points in the project. This stage stands out not only as a mechanical success, but also as the fruit of labor and meticulous work. Friends, we will now take a closer look at how the Commander S hatch, one of the most critical parts of the tank, is built. This part is an exit point where the crew can see outside and get out when necessary. Here is one of the most enjoyable moments, the iconic green paint is applied to the tank with giant spray machines. After the paint on the tank is dry, it is time to assemble the final parts. Details such as the commander ass boot, lights, and periscope are carefully installed. Watch without blinking because these moments are a real engineering passion. It is fascinating to watch the tracks crushing the snow and making way when it steps on the snowy ground. With a slow start, the big tank moves forward in a balanced way. The ground is so uneven that you feel like it will get stuck at any moment, but the tank ignores these obstacles. It shakes slightly when passing over a bump, but never loses control. It shows once again how meticulous the craftsmanship of this amateur inventor is.